All right, welcome back everybody to part three of electrophilic aromatic substitutions. Um, so, like I said in part two, I'll be discussing electron donating groups and electron withdrawing groups. So let's start off with electron donating groups. So the uh, S stands for strong, W stands for weak. Um, the strong, the strongest type of electron donating groups are okay. Like if you have watched my deals and alder uh, video, you'll know that. Uh, the the electron donating group I was discussing was if this A stands for atom any type of atom that has lone pairs so if the atom directly attached to the carbon of the aromatic ring okay if this atom directly attached to the carbon of the aromatic ring has lone pairs you see how it has lone pairs this A which stands for atom if that's the case it could donate electrons via resonance into the aromatic ring and that is what makes this substituent this electron donating group very strong and this R again stands for an alkyl group any type of alkyl group so you can imagine that this A could be an oxygen right as to oxygen usually takes this form when it's bonded to things and so if this was oxygen it has two lone pairs and is directly attached to the carbon of the aromatic ring so it could donate this pair of electrons into the aromatic ring via resonance so that's the strongest type of electron donating groups okay now the weak type of electron donating group is alkyl, alkyl groups so methylpropyl isopropyl stuff like that and they do this by uh, inductive effect okay so I'll do it again in this video I for inductive effect put a R in a parenthesis for resonance okay so now let's go to electron withdrawing groups okay electron withdrawing groups that I'll be discussing are the strong the moderate and the weak so the strong ones are NO2 CCL3s CF3s those are considered strong electron withdrawing groups now moderate uh, electron withdrawing groups are carbonyl groups so like uh, ketones um, ketones, um, esters, you know, stuff like that, aldehydes, uh, those type of carbonyl groups, okay? And uh, we also have, and remember, okay, so like if we have it, but there's a trick to it, so if you have an ester, so for example, let me just draw this, on this piece of paper right here. Now, I said that carbonyl groups are considered moderate electron withdrawing groups, however, if you have an aromatic ring, right, with an ester right however there's lone pairs on the electron it could donate via resonance this is considered an electron donating group even though it's a carbonyl group since the atom directly connects to the carbon of the aromatic ring has lone pairs right it can donate by resonance so therefore it's electron donating group it wins out over the electron withdrawingness of it so to so to speak so this is considered electron donating group via resonance so keep that in mind so you could have now on the other hand if we have this aromatic ring right here I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little variation of this so now if we have this now this is considered a electron withdrawing group because again the carbon that's attached to the carbon of the aromatic ring has no lone pairs and like I said carbonyl groups um, uh, are considered electron, electron withdrawing in this case it had lone pairs on the atom directly connected in this case it did not have lone pairs so it cannot donate electrons anyway it's pulling away the electrons so you should keep in mind these types of tricks your professors may throw at you or these type of problems that they might throw at you let's put the electron the lone pairs on it so again I want, I want to really have this concrete in your guys' head that since this is a carbonyl type of functional group, it could donate electrons into the system by resonance since the atom directly attached to this carbon has lone pairs. In this case, the atom directly attached to this to this carbon of the aromatic ring, since it has no lone pairs, it cannot donate electrons via resonance. So therefore, this is considered an electron withdrawing group. So keep that in mind, people. So carbonyl groups are considered moderate electron withdrawing groups. And uh, 
the weakest type of electron withdrawing groups you have are halogens. Now, now, I've, now that we have discussed the electron donating groups and electron withdrawing groups, I want to talk about um, which, like, so if you have a aromatic ring, so say for example, you have an aromatic ring, right? And you have, say for example, I say electron withdrawing group, okay? If you have electron withdrawing group attached to a aromatic ring, it will direct, so if you try to do one of those five reactions, it will, so if this is a starting material, so let's just put SM for starting material, and if you try to do a, few, uh, let's just say, um, you try to do a halogenation, Br2, F, E, B, R, 3, right? Now, if you try to do a halogenation, you cannot just select any carbon and add, add that Br2 and no, it's not going to work like that. Since you have an electron withdrawing group, it's going to direct the position of the Br. And it will direct the position to the meta position. And the meta position is two carbons away from the carbon the electron withdrawing group is attached to. So from this carbon, you go two, two carbons down. So one, two. This is considered your meta position. Okay? So I'll label the whole thing. This is consider, considered your ortho position. This is considered your meta position. And this is considered your para position, okay? OMP. You can almost think of it as OMG. That's how I thought of it when I was going into organic chemistry. OMP, OMG has a little bit of the same ring to it. Now, so the product of this reaction would be if this is your electron withdrawing group, right? Your bromine will be in this position right here. Or it could be in this position that or it could be like this again if this is your electron withdrawing group over here right again from the, you could look at it from this this way also O M P I'm oh, sorry that's R P okay O M P it could be in this position right here, but since it's uh, you could flip the molecule and you'll it's basically the same thing. The, if you flip the molecule, you will regenerate the same thing. So it could be on this side or this side. So it doesn't really matter. And remember, when you're doing like these type of reactions, you have to show all possible products. Since if you were to flip this around, you have the same thing. So you could just draw either that as your product or this as your product. It doesn't matter. Okay, so that's if you have electron withdrawing groups, it'll direct it. So I'm going to put a little parentheses around it. Uh, it'll direct it to the meta position. Okay, meta position. Keep that in mind. It plays a very good key role in uh, synthesis reactions. Okay, now that's for electron withdrawing groups. What if you have electron donating groups? So if you have an aromatic ring right and you have a electron donating group attached to it to start off with and say let's just keep it uh, constant we try to do the halogenation F E B R 3 right if we try to do the halogenation right the electron donating group will direct the bromine to the ortho and para position. Okay, so again, O M P, right? Ortho meta para. It will direct the bromine to the ortho and para position. I'll label it from this. I'll label it from this position also. This direction. So O M P O M P. Okay. So. Your product, in this case, you have two products. You will have, okay, electron donating group right here. You will have the bromine here, plus you'll have the bromine in the pair positioning. 
electron donating group okay you have it here so these are the two products you'll want to draw right here this and this these are the two products you want to draw uh, if you have this type of uh, reaction with the electron donating group okay so in the next part I'll be discussing what if you have two types of uh, groups attached to the starting material like an electron donating group an electron withdrawing group or a combination of two electron donating groups well, we'll look into that for a little bit also so stay tuned to I believe this will be part four